Hello and a very warm welcome to another edition of GMF Compact. I don't know how many of you noticed that while I was verbally greeting you, I was also non-verbally telling you that I need help. If you didn't get it, stay tuned because today we want to look at how mobile technology can help us report abuse and crime. Videos with this hand signal have been going viral on TikTok. The hand gesture is the universal signal for help. By doing this, an abuse victim can tell passers-by or people watching a video that they are in distress and that they need help. In November 2021, an American teenage girl who had been kidnapped showed this sign she had seen on TikTok while in a car with her kidnapper. One person in another car reportedly recognized that sign, called the police, and the police were able to rescue the girl. Strictly speaking, in this case, it wasn't even smart technology that helped save her, but it was a signal popularized on social media that helped spread awareness about how to call for help without drawing unnecessary attention. In the past, people had to actually go to a police station or call the police's number to report a crime or suspicious behavior. Today, smart tech allows victims to call for help without raising suspicion. Currently, there are a number of apps that let victims document and report abuse. The web-based app Victim's Voice gives victims of domestic violence the possibility of uploading photos, documents, or notes on what they remember about a certain incident. Once uploaded, the data cannot be changed, and so it's even permissible as evidence in U.S. courts. In Turkey, the app Easy Rescue is designed to help women who have suffered abuse or who have safety concerns. With the app, women can share the route of their journey with trusted contacts. They can send an emergency SMS simply by shaking their phone, and with one click, they can call emergency services. This technology has the advantage of giving victims the opportunity to report abuse or threatening situations without having to physically go to a police station or to a support center. However, the apps may also expose the victims to further risks. Abusers often control their victims' phones or computers to see who they have been communicating with or what websites they have visited. Unfortunately, not all reporting apps are designed in a way that they leave as little digital tracks as possible. On top of that, some apps require a fee, something that may prevent potential users from actually using the app if they don't have financial means or if their income is controlled by the very person they intend to report. As mobile technology advances, safety standards of these tools should also advance to enable victims a safe environment from which to report abuse. 